The hang gliding? Hey, Shalfay, how are you? Hey, Shalfay, how are you? How are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Gosh, one of these days I should wear my pajamas since you two wear your pajamas. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> And your dad could wear it and your mom could wear pajamas. It would be so fun. <laughs> All right, hang gliding. There are two G major descending scales. Where are they? Descending scale. One is here. Oh, no. Hey, okay, it's here. That is Great. And the next one? Take a look at the last line, because it's in the hey, Stop kicking me. Oh, shall face kicking you. Oh, my gosh. Those are the two descending scales. Good. And where is an example of a dominant seventh chord? A dominant seventh chord? Yes, there's lots of G major one chords, but where's an example of a dominant seventh? Remember? All right? One, four, one, five, seven, one. Over. Right here. And measure three. In measure three. One, two, three. That's good. That is a dominant chord. What about measure seven? Do you see a blocked dominant seventh chord? In your left hand? Seven. Oh yeah. There's oh. the dominant seventh chord. Right, you were right. The third measure has a has a um well actually that's not that's not a five chord. It's a it's a four chord with C E G. Do you see that? Aha. Aha aha. Okay. Aha aha. <laughs> Measure 30? Oh, yep. Yeah. That's the dominant seventh chord there. That's yeah, right. Number, oh, measure 30. Very good. Okay. Well, actually, the dominant seventh chord in the key of G is definitely the one in measure 30. The dominant seventh in the key of uh, is in the key of D when you get in measure seven. Right? Because it's going to a D major chord. Right, it's a dominant seventh, but it's not. Yeah, it's Does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay, good. All right, I can't wait to hear this piece. Let's make it sound like you're hang gliding. Above, above the above the earth. You're looking down and enjoying the beautiful weather. So hold on one second. Think about your steady eighth notes at the beginning. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, I know that you haven't had a chance to practice this too much, but is it a great spot, measure 25, when you play in G major, and then in measure 27, where do you move to in the left hand? What major chord do you have? Kind of late. 
Yes, so let's make a good, good, good sound when you go to the F major chord. Okay, so let's hear that line a few times so it gets comfortable for you. Okay. Good, that was much better. All right, so now every time you play a lovely five finger pattern, shall we?